The Indonesian Ministry of Transportation is targeting the Jakarta-Bandung high-speed railway project to be completed by June this year and is expected to be operational in July. Currently, the construction of the high-speed rail project has reached 84% completion. Metro Global Network's Sofi Al Mahmoud reports. Indonesian government continues to oversee the completion of Jakarta-Bandung high-speed railway project, which is set to become the first ever high-speed train in Southeast Asia. While reviewing the high-speed railway project in Bandung, West Java, the Indonesian Minister of Transportation, Budi Karya Sumadi, said their President Widodo has assigned three ministries to oversee the project that is aimed to become complete by June 2023. Minister Budi added that the development of public transportation projects such as high-speed train is needed to overcome the problem of congestion while also boost economic activity by reducing travel time. In fact, the high-speed train is set to cut travel time between Jakarta and Bandung to around 36 to 45 minutes, down from the usual 3 to 4 hours by car. Kereta cepat yang dibangun di sini memiliki arti penting bagi bangsa Indonesia. Kereta cepat ini merupakan pertama kali di Asia Tenggara, bukan gitu? Ya, kalau ada di yang lain tuh kecepatannya rendah. Ini bisa sampai 300 km per jam, 350 km per jam. Nah, ini adalah laboratorium bagi anak bangsa untuk mempelajari. Meanwhile, the president director of Indonesian Railways Company, Didik Hartantio, reaffirmed that this high-speed railway project is now 84% complete. The Indonesian Railways Company continues to push for its completion so as to reach the commercial operation date of June 2023. Hal-hal yang sangat didorong adalah penyelesaian track laying dan persinyalan. Jadi target Track laying itu akhir Maret 2023. Setelah itu akan dilakukan testing commissioning dan nanti pada akhir Mei itu akan dilakukan uji coba operasi ya, menuju COD bulan Juli 2023. To prepare for the operationalization of the Jakarta-Bandung high-speed railway, the Indonesian government has also collaborated with a consulting company from the UK, namely Crossrail International. Some of the ongoing project work includes track laying and signaling, overhead power system and preparation of intermodal access and integration to make it easier for the public to access.